Have you ever wondered if mirrors could boost the power of your solar panel? It sounds like a strange idea. But what if we told you that using mirrors to reflect extra sunlight onto solar panels could actually increase their energy output by, by up to 50%? Yes, you heard me right. We are wasting such massive solar energy, which requires only a cheap mirror. Recently, several researchers have suggested reflective mirrors to increase the quantity of solar energy reflected on the solar cells. But in turn, why have we not seen it widely till now? Knowing that using larger mirrors with PV allows to save the cost of expensive trackers. In this video, we will examine this idea and explore how scientists propose combining mirrors and solar panels to work together to maximize your energy production. You will also know why fans are required when mirrors are used with PV. Can you guess its purpose? Before we start, please do not forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications of the next videos. Let's now start with the basics. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity, so it makes sense that more sunlight would result in more power. By using mirrors to reflect additional sunlight onto your panels, you can concentrate the light, increasing the intensity that hits them. This could lead to a significant boost in the energy your solar setup generates, especially during early morning, late afternoon or on cloudy days when sunlight is less intense. So, what is the percentage of boost on energy by using the mirrors? Well, this percentage of energy boost can vary widely depending on several factors, such as the type of solar panel, the angle and quality of the mirrors, the local climate and how well the system is optimized. However, some studies and experiments have shown that using mirrors can increase the energy output of solar panels by anywhere from 20% to 50%. This range is influenced by how effectively the mirrors concentrate sunlight on the panels. For instance, in optimal conditions, with well-aligned mirrors and good sunlight, the upper end of this boost might be achievable. In less ideal conditions or with less precise setups, the boost might be closer to the lower end of the range. But as with any clever idea, there's a catch. While adding mirrors can increase the amount of sunlight your panels receive, it also comes with some challenges. One of the biggest issues is heat. When mirrors focus more sunlight onto the panels, they can cause them to overheat. Solar panels are designed to work best within a specific temperature range and too much heat can actually reduce their efficiency or worse, damage them permanently. That means if you're thinking about adding mirrors, you might need to consider cooling systems or heat resistant materials to protect your panels. Another potential pitfall is uneven light distribution. If the mirrors don't reflect sunlight evenly across the entire panel, you could end up with hotspots where some areas receive much more light than others. These hotspots aren't just inefficient, they can also cause long-term damage to your panels. So, careful planning and precise placement of the mirrors are crucial to avoid creating more problems than you're solving. Then there's the issue of complexity. Adding mirrors to your solar setup isn't as simple as just putting them up and calling it a day. Depending on the setup, you might need to invest in tracking systems to ensure that the mirrors are always reflecting the maximum amount of sunlight onto your panels throughout the day. This adds another layer of complexity and potentially more maintenance to your solar power system. What about cloudy days? It is important to note that mirrors are not very effective on cloudy days because they reflect light in the same direction it arrives from. On cloudy days, the light is diffuse with rays scattering in multiple directions, causing the reflected light to spread out rather than be concentrated. 
Mirrors are most effective with direct sunlight as they reflect it in a predictable direction, allowing it to be focused onto a specific point, line or area. So is it worth it? Well, the answer depends on your specific situation. Mirrors can indeed boost solar panel output, particularly in low light conditions. But the benefits need to be carefully weighed against the challenges such as heat management, the risk of hotspots and the added complexity of your system. For those who the toot toot are ready to take on these challenges, mirrors might just be a creative and effective way to get more energy from the sun. Do you think it will be feasible to use mirrors with PV? Your comments are encouraging us to continue the efforts to promote renewable energy, hoping for a clean and bright future. Do not forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.